Hey, Blue Table fans, time for your studio update. I'm uh, going out to lunch with Josh. Bam, so we're going to hear a little bit about what's going on with him. And uh, we did put up on the web store, Spencer's working hard to, uh, to uh, get stuff up for our awesome Black Friday special that we're doing. And, um, what? Yep, Spencer's going to be, I, I'm actually going to be in uh, for four hours on Friday and four hours on Saturday. So right now, you're going to be by yourself. That's right. Yep. You, you better get it done, Spencer. Hurry up. So anyway, we have these magnetized Land Raider triples, which are awesome. I'm actually going to do a specialty video on just those. Oh, they're doubles. So it's a Crusader Redeemer. Okay, thank you for pointing that out. And two uh, Terminuses mm -hmm. as well. So, uh, so good stuff. Oh, by the way, uh, I had, yes, you have to look at my face some more. Lucky you. Uh, Rich came by last night, and I wish I would have recorded that, because we talked for about an hour of what we're going to do for bat reps, because quite frankly, uh, BTP is in a really uh, special situation. By the way, this is my car that I love, and uh, I hope I don't have to sell it. Um, this is Jenny, my Chevy Equinox. Jenny the toaster. You know why it smells like new, Josh? What? Because I keep my baby clean. Yes, you do. That's right. <laughs> I do. I um, I don't think you're on me, actually. All right. Yeah. It's a little dark, though. So anyway, is it? Oh, because of the lights in the background. Yeah. So anyway, um, so uh, yeah, it's Armorall. That's mm. that smell. Yeah. Is that I, I wipe her down with Armorall and leather cleaner. Nice. Yep. Oh, I love my baby. I love my baby. Josh has to put his, uh, his seat belt on. So anyway, um, so yeah, Rich and I were talking last night, and uh, you know, BTP, we are in. We are the. Okay, how to explain this? We could make the best. We could have the best bat rep program in the world. Mm -hmm. Here's why: because there's no place in the world at all that is producing one army per day or more on average and a lot of our clients they love it when we put uh when we when we put their stuff in our bat reps so we could have, i mean awesome terrain awesome new armies uh we talked about doing fun scenarios like we're going to take that tau manta and the client has given us permission to to use that and do a scenario where the tau need to be like extracted by this manta so um it's pretty awesome. Uh, we've got a, we've got a lot of good plans going on. Sweet. Yep. So something new every day. The goal uh, is to because uh, uh, nothing survives contact. No plan survives contact with the enemy. Uh, the goal is to do four bat reps a week. Yep. So two forty k a fantasy and an other with uh, some variation. So it's going to be exciting. Sweet. All right, we're here at Hoo Hot Mongolian Grill. Are you ready, buddy? Heck yeah. Let's go in. Let's do this thing. All right, so we're at Hoo Hot. Here it is. Awesome. Loving it. Everything's awesome. And so Josh has some news. He's only going to be with us for like five more weeks. So tell us all about your dreams and where you're going. Okay. Well, uh, it's been a long, long road, but here's the big news. I got accepted to medical school. Yay! Yes, yes. I'm going to be going to uh, University of Texas, uh, medical branch at Galveston, so I'll be right next to Houston. Hold on a second. That's Ron Paul's district. <laughs> yep, helping neighbors with Ron Paul. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, so um, so this is this is actually a really big deal for me, super big deal, because I've been gearing up all the last six years for this one thing, medical school. And I spent a lot of money, a lot of time. I wrote probably this just this year alone. I wrote upwards of sixty as an SS. Sixty. It's just it's it's such a. Were they all different? Every single one was different. Every single last one. <laughs> wow. Uh, just to apply to medical school. Uh, and anyway, so 
it's so I actually was gearing up for the worst case scenario, which was I wasn't going to get accepted again this year. We said I tried last year and wasn't accepted. And uh, so I, I, I paid two thousand dollars for an MCAT prep course. I was gonna like my every second of my life for the next four months was gonna be used up in work, family, and, and study. And, uh, and I was gonna take the MCAT again, I was gonna do some awesome, I was gonna get it next year. And then out of the blue, Texas school that I, that I uh, interviewed at uh, sent me an email saying, hey, you're accepted. And just everything, every, all my stress just blew away. All of that one email. As soon as I read that, everything was just roses and peaches. So I don't know what, what else to say about that, but uh, here's my plan. So now, now I have to get ready for medical school. So I've been applying to all kinds of scholarships and uh, and uh, in grants, and of which I've applied to the military branches as well. So that's actually going to be my ideal route: is to be accepted to one of the military's uh, medical programs, and then everything's going to be pay paid for. They're going to pay my housing give me a stipend, I'll take care of health, dental, I'll graduate with no debt at all, and uh, and then serve about four years in the military, which I considered anyways. Uh, so that would be the ideal route, otherwise I'll just have to get loans and go to medical school, and uh, when my four years are up there, I go to residency, uh, which I need to apply for, and then after that, a fellowship, and what I want to do is the most, what excites me the most is bionics. I want to uh, basically I want to iron within, iron, iron without. Iron within, iron, I'm an iron warrior, exactly. Or or iron hands. Actually, my iron hands. Yeah. So uh, That's right. so yeah. I mean, when I started this concept in my head, I actually thought about making the first lightning claw. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I just That's have a awesome. that would be controlled. Like I just flicker it on with my mind and be. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So, uh, but look forward to seeing Josh on the next episode of Cops. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, so, <laughs> what got me onto this whole idea was one: I love sci-fi. I love some reading. maniacs down in the Kmart parking lot with a with a car battery <laughs> and four butter knives. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, no, but this is really cool. This is the coolest part because uh, I found this guy that uh, he's, he's a professor up at uh, North, Northeastern University, right? And uh, he, the talk louder, sorry. So he has a monkey that he wired up to a machine. And awesome. With the, with its I'm sorry, you had me at monkey wired up to a machine. <laughs> well, yeah, no, you really did. You run microfilaments into his brain into specific areas and recorded the activity and made an algorithm and the monkey can now control a robotic arm and he, he's in one like box yeah. with just a little hole and the robot's on the other side with a banana so the ro he can control the arm to grab the banana and put it in the hole so he can eat it yeah nothing but thought oh nothing. wow so that's what I want to do except with humans obviously and um, there's, it's already being done but I uh, like this is it's, it's gaining momentum. Like there's companies that are making prosthetic arms for soldiers that are coming back from Iraq and whatnot. Like, right. And uh, it's not perfect, but there's all kinds of cool things going on. And that's what I want to do. That's what I want to be a part of. So yeah. All right, that's awesome. Congratulations, Josh. Congratulations. So there you go.